I'm 42 years old. I grew up in a small town in northern Middlesex County of Massachusetts called Pepperell. It's only about 12,000 people. I grew up in a nice home around my grandparents, my mother, my older brother, many uncles and cousins. As a teenager, you know, I, I did a lot of usual things. I smoked weed, I drank, you know, I was always on the ice playing hockey. Uh, I liked all types of different music. Some of my favorites were like Wu-Tang and Metallica, Snoop Dogg, Dre, stuff like that. You know, there was a lot of parties in the woods with bonfires and in sand pits and things like that. And uh, slowly but surely it turned into taking painkillers and snorting cocaine until eventually it became to, you know, constantly using heroin and cocaine. And I went to detox in uh, summer of 2002 for the first time. And since then, I've been in and out of jails and shelters and detoxes and clinical stabilizations and transitional stabilizations and residential halfway houses. Just pretty much anything that you can think of. Uh, Massachusetts offers, you know, multiple sources for uh, recovery for drug addicts. And, you know, 20 years ago, it used to be a shunned thing to be an addict. And, uh, you know, in this day and age, it, it's turned to a lot of um, harm reduction, basically just trying to save lives. And uh, like, I'm in a six month residential program in Boston right now. And there's an area known as Mass and Cass or Methadone Mile. Uh, I call it the war zone. And it's literally people living in, you know, makeshift tarp tents and things like that on a sidewalk in front of the Boston Public Health Commission shelter. You know, basically it's just called Southampton Street shelter. I don't know why it doesn't have any type of name to it, but, uh, you know, I, I'm starting to do this. I, I want to bring light to everything that's going on, the struggles that addicts go through, maybe a little bit of the reasoning on why, because it isn't a moral dilemma. You know, I know many addicts that have a good moral compass, but it's the desperation of a change in the way that we feel about ourselves and about the people around us. Uh, we use the term sick and suffering, and uh, the journey through recovery can be a rough one, but recovery is possible. Uh, many people make it through you know, they find solace in religion, their family, work, other activities, basically just making it so they're a whole person around. It's considered to be a threefold disease. It's physical, mental, and spiritual. And a belief that you have a higher power, a way to not be constantly in control of what's going on in your life and basically just trying to ride a wave of positive decision making as things get better. So I'm going to end this video for now. Um, I'm going to try to do this through YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So I need your help too. Uh, I don't need your money. I don't need you to give me a ride anywhere. I don't need you to give me a place to live. I, I simply just need you to comment, like, and subscribe, share, and just try to help me spread the word that addicts are not bad people. And anyone that is struggling with substance abuse, or maybe even, you know, other addictions such as gambling or whatnot, can get help and live a better life. Thank you. I couldn't ask for a, a better way to live life these days.